Good morning! In today's video, I will be on a mission. Bugra, I hope I pronounced that name correctly, from Ankara. Dear all, I need a favor from a person who is living close or would like to visit the Love Lock Bridge, where people hang locks. I hang the lock on that bridge last year, I know, and I can describe exact spot. He did describe the exact spot and sent a picture. Looks like, looks like that. And it's in the 24th row of locks or 24th like section on the bridge. You know, the thing with love locks in Salzburg is it's not forbidden. You are allowed to put the lock. It's not considered vandalism like in many other cities. And I think Salzburg is a good place to put the love lock. Thing is that it could still get removed. That's from 2019. And I also saw them removing locks this year in 2020. They only cut a certain number of locks every year and leave the rest. And I have a theory about that. Let's go to the bridge and I tell you what I think about the love locks in Salzburg. You know what my theory about the locks is? And I might be entirely wrong, but I'm guiding tourists here in Salzburg and I pass by the bridge every day and I talk about the bridge every day. And what I think is that if you look at the colors of Salzburg, if you look at the Mozart chocolate, the Austrian flag, flag of Salzburg, if you just Google logos from Salzburg, you will see it's all red. My theory, is that the city removes all the locks that are not red. Could also be a coincidence, could be because red is the color of love, but what I think if you look at the bridge from far away is that most of the locks that remain are red. So I think the, the city uses the tourists as a way to color the, the bridge, to decorate the bridge. That's the other side of the bridge and we now need to count 24 rows into this direction. I guess it's about the middle of the bridge where the lock is supposed to be. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. That's where it's supposed to be. Because as far as I can see, it's a red, it's a red lock. And it should be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, about six. Um, sections from the pole. It's the heart-shaped one, right? I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's the 24th partition, as you say. From the right, from the right side, minus 24th. If we were to both sides, we need to count 24 partitions. That's what I did, but I can't find the lock so far. I will check the other two. that they came here in April to cut the locks. That's the last time. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I really can't seem to find it. I'm sorry. I mean, that's more or less the, the view you have on the picture. And with the picture, it should be really easy. You can see that it's six rows in and more or less the same from above. So it should be somewhere here, but a red heart-shaped lock. There are heart-shaped locks, but they are different color. I'm sorry, Bugre, I couldn't find your lock. I guess that it's gone. I searched the exact spot that you indicated on the picture. It would have been very easy to find, actually, with knowing that it's in the 24th row and with the exact spot marked on the picture. That's maybe just the reason to come back to Salzburg as soon as possible and put the new lock. And maybe it's a reason to come to Salzburg every year, check on your lock or put the new one in case it's gone. And that's the thing about locks in Salzburg. It's not forbidden to put the lock. You can do that. It's not considered vandalism. The bridge is not as old as in some other places, like in Prague, for example. In Salzburg, that's not a problem, but the city still removes a part of the lock every locks every year in April before the season starts. And the bridge doesn't fill up that quickly. That's why it's enough to remove locks once a year. Anyway, I wish you, Bugra, all the best for your relationship and I hope to see you in Salzburg someday. Bye bye, all the best.